I enjoy listening to music both at home and in the car, and have recently discovered that the MP3 file format does not give me the music fidelity that I enjoy. So I have been looking for a solution to bring HD music to my car and to my portable devices. So this is my solution. It's actually two parts. One is uh, an app for the Android player and the other is software for your computer. We're going to need the following things to make this solution work. First, you need to have an Android device. I would recommend adding an extra SD card with memory as high definition music takes up a lot more space than an MP3. You're going to want to have high quality headphones or earbuds to connect to your device either through a wire or wirelessly if you like. I use uh, Klipsch earbuds and my son likes his Sennheiser over the ear but there are lots of good choices. You're going to need the Power Amp app for your Android device. It runs about five dollars and it'll play all the different HD file formats. And you're going to want to have the J River software for your computer. It runs about fifty dollars for a master license which lets you install it on more than one computer. It's one of the highest rated and easy to use high definition music players. So that's what we're going to need to get things rolling. We will start with the computer by downloading the J River Media Center software. I simply did a Google search for it to locate it and then I'm going to download it to my computer locally to install. Once the download is finished, I'll click on the open button to begin the installation process for the software. Of course, you'll need to accept the terms of the license agreement and we're going to use the custom setup for the software. I'm going to leave it on install locally to my computer. The next window is the file association window. This is important to associate the different file types with the software so they play automatically. I only want to use my software to play music, even though it will let you look at videos and pictures and some other things. I'm only going to use it for audio, so I'm going to deselect all of the file types that are not audio file types. The next screen lets you choose whether or not you'd like to have a desktop or start menu shortcut. Now that the software has finished installing, I'm going to let it automatically run and finish the setup. The first time you run the software, it's going to go into the import media mode and look for all the music on your computer and bring it into the library. That'll take just a few minutes. I'm looking at the artist view and you can see the different albums and artists and on the bottom portion of the screen you'll see the individual songs and all of the details about those songs or tracks. To purchase HD music I use a service under the service and plugins called HD Tracks. It loads the website directly into the J River Media software. You can search for your artists in this case, I'm going to click on the uh, new Van Halen collection. And from here, it lists the different audio formats that are available. 
It comes in many different audio formats, and the price may change depending on which format you use. After you choose and purchase the one you want, it'll automatically download into your library on your computer. The J River Media software has many features. Uh, many of them are standard across all media players. I didn't uh, create this video in an, to be a tutorial on the software, just as a connection point to get HD music uh, off the web and onto your computer and then onto your mobile device. Let's look at the mobile device portion of this solution, beginning with how the files are organized on your device. When I open my files, I'll see that there's a music folder, which is on the main memory of the computer. I would like to keep mine on the SD card, so I'm going to navigate to the SD card, and I created a music folder there, as you can see. To transfer files from my computer onto the phone or mobile device, I'm going to use the file manager. I'm going to plug my phone in. After it's recognized by the computer, I'm going to navigate to my music folder, select the folder of the artist I'd like to put on my device, copy, go back to the phone. There you can see my SD card into the music folder, and I'm going to paste the folder I want to add to my device. Once it's finished pasting, I'm ready to go. Next, let's look at the Power Amp app that's installed on the mobile device. It actually has two pieces. The first is the actual app, and the second is the unlocker, which is where you actually pay the $5. You can see both of them on my screen here although you don't need to have the shortcut for the unlocker once it's installed. If you've installed an SD chip into your device for extra storage, the first thing we need to do is to point the Power Amp app at that extra storage space so it picks up any music that you have uh, moved to it. To access your settings, tap the settings button in the lower left hand corner of your phone or device. Select settings, then go to the folders and libraries option. Look for the music folders and tap on it. Scroll down through the list, it's going to show you all the folders on your device. And we're looking for the SD chip, which is going to be all the way at the very bottom. There you can see the local music folder, but we're looking for the one on the SD chip. So I'll just keep scrolling. And there is my storage card, and you can see the directory that says music, and I'm going to make sure that there is a check mark in it. This music app, like most music apps, has some standard features. You can sort your songs by albums, artists, genres, playlists, etc. It displays the album cover art, so if you like to search for your albums using the pictures, it has a pretty uh, nice layout for that. It displays the songs in alphabetical order for easy sorting. The Power Amp app has a built-in equalizer that you can control from the uh, equalizer button at the top. You can customize it for whatever vehicle or earbuds that you're using. If you're interested to learn more about HD music, file formats, and compression, here are two links of uh, articles that are very useful, one from Digital Trends and the other from Sound on Sound. I'd encourage you to visit those websites and give those articles a read. Thanks for watching and let me know what you think about HD music in the comments below.